there's basically three straight angles that you can use. Um, high angle, eye level, and low angle. And I'll explain these in a second. It's confusing because high angle means that the subject is higher than you. Okay? So just as you know, we're talking about close to it's it's you know, when you say close or, or long, it, you know, it's about both of you, how close and, and how long you are from each other. Uh, when we talk about angle, it's about the subject's placement. So you'll be lower than your subject in a high angle shot. You just have to remember, it's one of those sort of you know annoying arbitrary things. You just have to remember high angle means you tilt the camera high up. Low angle means you tilt the camera to something that is lower than you. Um, it's not about where you are. Um, okay, so this is a high angle shot. And the reason I've chosen this shot, uh, other than that I, I think it's a well-composed photograph, is to show one of the things that high angle photography can be used to, uh, to do. Uh, high angle photography can be used to display power. Now, it's not to say that your subject is necessarily powerful if you show them uh, at, a high, at a high angle. But what it does mean is that, for example, in this photograph, um, this man is uh, holding a poisonous snake in front of his face. And he's unafraid. And we can see that, we can see his facial expression clearly, and we can see the situation clearly, but we do have, he's slightly above us. And it sort of indicates a certain uh, aura of power that this man has, and, and, and you develop a certain respect for him. And that's something that you can use in your photographs. Now, we'll learn later that, you know, when you're shooting, a, uh, or we'll talk about this more later, but when you're shooting a journalistic photo, you want to be sh showing reality um, as truly as possible. But no matter what you do, the way that you take the picture will affect the meaning of the picture. There's no such thing as an, effect, as an objective photograph. And this is something that's really interesting, to, really important for you to know. People often talk about photographs being a document. Photographs are not a document. Photographs are an interpretation. Because the way that you shoot them completely affects the meaning of it. So, some people may, may look at that and say, oh, you know, I'm getting lower than this guy and taking this picture. I'm making him look more powerful than he is. Well, maybe you are. But what you need to realize is, you know, how am I displaying this person? Do I want to show this person with an appropriate amount of power? If someone, you know, for example, uh, there are some famous photos, photographs of dictators that are taken from lower and them standing in these very ominous positions. Um, those are appropriate because it shows you know, the fear that people had of this person and it shows the power that they exert over people. Another thing you can do you know, is take a picture, is, is use irony in your photographs and take a picture of something powerful from above and then you, yeah, and, but you know, you can't, you won't, don't want to do that all the time. In order to do that, it would be you know sort of questioning. Uh, it would be a way of making a point about how uh, the power is false. You know, if you're if there's a situation in which something is is uh, revered as powerful, um, and you think that that power or that respect is undeserved or false, then you can use um, a low angle shot, which we'll show in a second, uh, rather than a, or or an eye level shot rather than a high angle shot. Um, so these are things to keep in mind. No matter how you angle your, your camera, it means something. So you need to decide if you're going to match the meaning of the world, if you're going to create a statement with the photograph. Um, you always have to be conscious of how you frame your picture because it's going to affect the way the picture turns out. Any questions about that? Yes? High angle? Well, you notice how we can see his, his chin and like below. This man you know, is not, for example, that you know, like, if the photographer were at eye level with him, you wouldn't be able to see up on his chin. If two people from, if two people are the same height, they can't see below each other's chins. They can't see, you know, the bottoms of their, of anything. You can tell that, like, the angle, when you look at it, is kind of up like this. It's not extremely high angle. It's as if I were to shoot someone like this, basically. He's just giving it, and I assume he knelt and just did this. I got a little bit below him. So his face is probably around the level of the guy's shoulders, or a little low, a bit lower. Um, but you can also tell by the angle of the ground, and how, for example, the ground is way down here, and then there's all this sky in the photograph. If you shoot a photograph completely horizontally, you'll have basically an equal amount of ground and sky. I mean, you can lift it over the format, but you'll have a roughly equal amount. If you tilt it up like that, 
a lot of sky, tilted down, a lot of brown. So if you see here, it's clearly tilted off because there's all this 